Okay, screen is visible. Yes. Right. Now uh, we are discussing about the infinite beams with concentrated moment. So again, uh, for whatever the equation of semi-infinite beam, so that we have to consider for the next case, it is concentrated moment. Right. Now the inform infinite beams loaded by a concentrated moment m not at x equal to zero. You can see here. So at x x equal to zero at that particular point that is at origin we have applied the concentrated moment m not right. So deflection are unsymmetric with respect to the origin. So bending moment at x equal to m not by two. Okay. So whatever the bending moment at x not is it, sorry x equal to zero at x equal to zero moment is nothing but m not by two, right? Fifty percent that we have to consider for separately for left side and for the right side. Okay. M not by two positive on the right side and negative on the left side. Okay, as origin we have considered the infinite, so right side and left side portion. Okay, so positive moment on right side and negative on the left side. Okay, so again the solution can be obtained from the equation which is we have discussed, right? So right half that is on right side we have discussed same infinite beam. So right half of the infinite beam acts like same infinite beam. Which is shown in previous case, but now M not we have considered 50% on right side, 50% on left side. So M not is replaced by M not by two, and the load is nothing but P not. So such that the deflection is taken as zero at x equal to zero. At x equal to zero, we have taken the W. W W is nothing but deflection is equal to zero. So by using uh, these equations, that is for semi-infinite beam. Okay, same infinite beam. W is equal to zero at x equal to zero. X equal to zero. Okay, so we have to use this equation. W is nothing but two beta p naught by k d beta x minus two beta square m naught by k c beta x. Again, we have to refer that table. Depending upon that table, we have to consider the values of your. <coughs> beta x right so now so m not is sorry m not is replaced by m not by 2 and p not such that deflection is zero at x equal to zero according to this uh, we have to use the equation of deflection and put the value of w is zero so we get p not is equal to m not beta by 2 we get p not value is equal to m not beta by 2 so putting the value of p not is equal to m not beta by two and m not is equal to m not by two by putting the value of p not is equal to m not beta by two and m not is equal to m by two in the equation of the deflection in this equation of the deflection that is w is nothing but right in this equation we have to put the value of p not and m not and d beta x c beta x at x equal to zero is one. At x equal to zero, c beta x d beta x equal to one. So by putting that value, we get we get the equation of W. Right? We get the equation of W is beta square m naught by k b beta x. Then take the one derivative with respect to x, theta is nothing but beta cube m naught by k c beta x. Then taking the double derivative of w, we get m naught and triple derivative shear. So as this equation is up, applied for the infinite beam, carries concentrated clockwise moment at x equal to zero. So left side portion, right side portion, by putting the values, right? So this is the case for infinite <clears throat> beam.
with concentrated moment right so please write down the heading please write down the heading infinite beam with concentrated moment infinite beam with concentrated moment infinite beam with concentrated moment infinite beams with concentrated moments infinite beam with concentrated moments then draw these figures and write on the description i'll draw this all the figures and write on the description again we have consider the same value for previous case beta x equal to 0 beta x equal to pi by 2 beta x equal to 3 pi by 2 beta x equal to pi by 4 like that and from that we have to get the value of x pi by 4 beta pi by 2 beta pi by beta okay etc After finish, please inform. maximum time the derivation which is asked in the exam so same infinite beam finite beam infinite beams with concentrated load moment etc along with that you have to draw the curves depending upon the value of beta x or the values of your a beta x b beta x c beta x and d beta x in that you can put the value of x or beta x or finish finish ek minute ओके ओके डिस्क्रिप्शन पण लिहा लेट ऑन द डिस्क्रिप्शन विच इज बिलो द डायग्राम
Okay, shall I proceed? Or okay, write down these equations. Write down these equations for deflection, root slope, moment and shear. Is it over? Yes, sir. Right. Now, next line add on. Conditions in the left half must be calculated from the in the right, must be obtained from the calculation in the right half. Okay. So whatever the equations that you have to multiply by minus, only that is change. We're putting the value of x is negative values to the left side. Okay, or completed. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. So now take down the numerical. Take down the numerical. An infinite beam rests on an infinite beam rests on equally spaced linear coil springs. Infinite beam rests on equally spaced linear coil beams. Sorry, coils springs, linear coil springs, comma, located every 1.10 meter along the beam, located every 1.1 meter along the beam, along the beam, full stop, a concentrated load of 18 kilonewton, concentrated load of 18 kilonewton is applied to the beam, concentrated load of 18 kiloton is applied to the beam, is applied to the beam, comma, directly over one of the springs, directly over one of the springs, full stop, stiffness R EI is equal to Stiffnesses are EI is equal to 441 into 10 raised to 9, 441 into 10 raised to 9, Newton per mm square, Newton per mm square for the beam, Newton mm square 
for the beam and k is equal to 275 newton per mm and k is equal to 275 newton per mm k is equal to 275 newton per mm for each spring for each spring full stop calculate the largest spring force calculate the largest spring force and largest bending moment in the beam calculate the largest spring force and largest bending moment in the beam calculate the largest spring force and largest bending moment in the beam full stop सोल्यूशन मैडम द फोर्स अप्लाइड टू द बीम बाय स्प्रिंग विथ डिफ्लेक्शन डब्ल्यू इज के डब्ल्यू दट इज कॉन्स्टेंट के मैडम फोर्स अप्लाइड टू द बीम बाय स्प्रिंग विथ डिफ्लेक्शन डब्ल्यू इज के डब्ल्यू next line as per winkler's foundation theory right on as per winkler's foundation theory as per winkler's foundation theory as per as per winkler's foundation theory right on as per winkler's foundation theory small k or k not we may call it as k not or k k is equal to capital k by l spring constant divided by span of beam k is equal to capital k by l so k is given 275 divided by l is 1.1 meter that is double one double zero So two seventy five by double one double zero is check whether it is point two five. Check whether it is point two five. Correct. Point two five is correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Now next we have to find out the value of beta. Beta is equal to uh, fourth root of fourth root. That is beta value is same, whatever the case. But beta value is same. Fourth root of k by four e i. Fourth root. That is one by four. K by four e i. beta is equal to k by 4ei put the value of k and ei put the value of k and 4ei and check whether it is uh, value correct or not
కరెక్ట్ వాళ్ళు yes sir okay okay now as per the table and as per the winkler theory so uh, whatever the wave is there sinusoidal wave is there total is nothing but it is completely we are considered as a pi right so now we have to consider the value of beta x equal to pi so beta value is known to you from that we have to find out the value of x right so right now as per winkler's foundation theory around as per winkler's foundation theory as per winkler's foundation theory for half wave for half wave beta x equal to pi beta x equal to pi so uh now beta is known and pi so pi by beta check whether it is 5.12 whatever the value of beta divided by sorry pi divided by beta 3.14 correct your correct eh? yes sir okay right so now uh, span is given that is total 1.1 meter okay so for half a wave we have to consider so right now so for springs per half wave springs per half wave springs per half wave is equal to 5.12 divided by 1.1 5.12 divided by 1.1 that is 4.65 springs so we have to consider uh, minimum four springs per half wave right so next line uh, by using the equation of w that is deflection using this equation and on uh, equation of deflection if equation of deflection for infinite beam equation for deflection for infinite beam carries concentrated load carries concentrated load carries concentrated load w is equal to beta p not by 2k a beta x beta p not by 2k a beta x okay so at x equal to 0 at origin because load is applied at origin at x equal to 0 right on at x equal to 0 maximum deflection w max equal to maximum deflection w max equal to maximum deflection w max is equal to so put all the values put all the values beta is known p not a beta x is 1 and divided by 2k check whether it is 22.1 mm check and please pause. correct sir correct i value yes sir yes okay 
So now maximum deflection is known. Now spring force around. So maximum spring force is nothing but F max equal to K into W max. Spring constant multiplied by the deflection. Put the values and check whether it is correct or not. Yes, Zala? Yes, sir. Right. Now, next, next is moment. So, equation is known to you. Maximum uh, moment equation at x equal to 0. Put the values and find out the value of moment. Correct, sir. Sir, complete it.
ओके आंसर बरोबर आहे आंसर इज करेक्ट हॅलो ओके सो नाव दिस इज वन न्यूमेरिकल सो शाल वी स्टॉप फॉर टुडे